So, hello and welcome back. And one thing before we want, um, implement the logic of our web shop, there's one last thing I wanted to do, and that is uh, to make this responsive. So, as you can see, it looks pretty fine right here and everything. But I think it does break when we make it too small, as we can see here. Yep. And what I like to do, what I'd like to do here, is to add media queries, so that we have a different layout based on the size. of this thing, of the screen, and so we don't break the layout at all. For that we need to find out where the layout breaks, which would be around here, and add a rule to change layout. Yep. Just want to find width, let's go with 450 pixels in width. So let's add a media query. Right at the bottom. And what we would like to do here is that we would like to hide the footer. Let's see if that works at all. Yep, this gets hidden once we go smaller. Then we would like to change our next direction of the header. Should be here. Um, and I think we also need to make the header itself bigger about ten percent of view height. Let's see if that works. Also we need to um make another rule. Let's see for the content of um, our item, this one, for shop item, but that will, that's what we will do right after we fix this. And it, yeah, it almost looks right, but it's not big enough. So it needs to be 20% maybe. Also, I'm not sure if I want to browse the about page on a mobile. I just want to 
go shopping basically. Hmm, not not too sure. Yeah, let's just make it bigger and have the position absolute and not fixed. Position. And let's go with 20 here. Let's see how that looks like. A little bit better. Maybe just uh, 15 would do. See how that looks like, and that's exactly how it should look like. See how that looks on a mobile phone. I'm not sure why this one gets displayed, even though our Screen is definitely smaller. Yeah, I'm not sure why it doesn't display like I want it to display, but for the regular view it looks fine so honestly I just let it leave it like this and one last thing is of course the um, content that needs to wrap around so what I will do here is to um, adjust the Uh, adjust the grid template and copy the shop item and also add it to our media query at the end. Stays the same, stays also the same. Gap should also stay the same. Now, here, bridge template columns should only be one, and the others should then be. like this maybe let's see how that goes let's see how, the, how this looks like still the same it now it gets smaller nothing happens if I reload it yeah, but nothing really happens because I need to adjust all the styles for the other stuff as well. All the shop item things should be, need to be adjusted also.
Yep, up into here. And I think all the grid column stuff is unnecessary because all of them started first column because there's only one. And the height width and height height didn't change so this needs to be adjusted also crit row start spam star set third and the button this stuff doesn't change crit row start is now at row four And the column start is open. Yeah, we can delete this completely. But I think we also need to specify the grid, grid column start now that I think about it. Because it changes. And this one is now in the fifth. And then finally the by but oh let's change those ones around. So we have the price before that. And that should be it then. Hopefully, let's see how that looks like. So smaller than, yes. But it's of course way too big. Okay. So the price should be kept and then also this, yeah, this one doesn't make too much sense. So let's change that. Mm. that and then the this image description should maybe be ten percent of view height and this one should know where be as big so maybe to rem and that should be much better let's see yeah looks almost right the main padding top needs to be adjusted to um So this one can be auto, hopefully. And what else did I want to do? Um, the main 
padding right this one needs to be adjusted to 20% of the view height something about there so let's see how that looks not 100%, I wanted to do 20, not sure how that happened. Much better. And I do think that looks good now. Even if you scroll like this, I mean, it does break a little bit, but how else would you display it in this? Do think it looks fine here. Maybe we would like to change the layout earlier, maybe at 500, but other than that, I think it does look good now. And that was the last thing I wanted to do design-wise. And then next video we can really start to implement the logic of the shop. Let's do a last check how it looks like. Looks fine. Looks also fine. I think this is good for a very simple online shop, don't you think? Yeah, I think this looks fine now. So yeah, thanks again for watching and then see you in the next time when we start to implement the logic of the website.